In a recent video, I made a case for the squat as a cornerstone of our barbell prescription for healthier aging, based, among other things, on how beautifully it fit two sets of criteria, the criteria for a strength training exercise and the criteria that must be met for any effective therapeutic prescription. The deadlift is the second exercise we're going to talk about for all the same reasons. The deadlift is safe has a wide therapeutic window, is comprehensive, attacks the sick aging phenotype, and is just about as simple as an exercise can get. Although there are important technical considerations. And the deadlift meets the criteria for a primary strength training exercise. It allows us to recruit a ton of muscle through a long effective range of motion to lift a ginormous amount of weight. In fact, you'll almost certainly lift more weight and demonstrate higher levels of strength with the deadlift than any other exercise, hands down. The squat may be the king of exercises, but the deadlift is the queen. And like many queens, she's stronger than the king. And tougher. And, you know, a mother. Hi, I'm Jonathan Sullivan and welcome back to Gray Steel. So what are we talking about when we use the word deadlift? We're talking about a movement in which a loaded barbell is lifted from the floor, straight up the legs, to be locked out in a standing position. The bar is lifted from a dead stop, hence the name, not just for the first rep, but for every rep. So those people you see bouncing deadlifts off the floor at the circus? They're not role models. They're job security for orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, chiropractors, physical therapists, and people who traffic in prescription narcotics. But I digress. There are, of course, variants of the deadlift, and some people argue about what a real deadlift is. But at Graysteel, we just do it old school. We don't do sumo deadlifts or hex bar deadlifts or any other wacky variants. We just bend over with a narrow stance, grab the bar, put our shins on the iron, set our back, and drag that sucker up the legs to lock out. Here's what's beautiful about the dead. Almost anybody can do it, even the very aged and very infirm. Even people who can't squat their body weight or stand up out of a chair without assistance from their arms or somebody boosting them can almost always bend over and pick up a 20 pound bar. A very few deconditioned souls have to start with kettlebells, but they get to the bar very quickly and then it's off to the races. The deadlift builds strength and confidence that will translate to the other exercises and drive overall fitness and conditioning during the early novice program. The deadlift describes a shorter range of motion than the squat, but it also captures a vast amount of muscle tissue. When performed properly, the deadlift uses quads, calves, hamstrings, glutes, adductors, spinal erectors, lats, traps, abs, and even the pecs and upper extremity musculature. It's truly a total body exercise with a very deep and intense training stimulus and a great way to build massive strength. People just amaze themselves. The deadlift is also perfect for our prescription criteria. It's safe. Like the squat, it's just a normal human movement pattern loaded with a barbell. Bending over and picking up something heavy is just about as basic and as useful as a movement pattern gets. Now, as with the squat, there are no nothings and chicken littles who will tell you that the deadlift will screw up your back. Just like there are people who will tell you that we never really landed on the moon, that humans and dinosaurs coexisted, and cracking your knuckles will churn you into an arthritic cripple. It is, of course, possible to hurt your back doing anything. It's not a particularly well-designed structure for bipeds. But the point is that a properly performed deadlift isn't just safe for your back. It actually protects your back by making it stronger. See, with the deadlift, the force you produce with your hips and legs has to be transmitted to the bar in your hands. This requires all the structures between the floor and the bar to be strong, stable, and rigid. The deadlift trains the athlete to transform the spine into a force transmitter rather than a force absorber. This has tremendous carryover, not just to the other exercises and athletic activities, 
but also to life. And it's a universal and quite common observation that when people with chronic back pain start training the deadlift, it more often than not just goes away. And soon, not after months or years of training, but weeks or even days. It doesn't always happen, but it usually happens. And it's wonderful. The deadlift has an extremely wide therapeutic window from five or 10 pounds to 300, 400, 500 pounds or more. At Graysteel, we routinely see ladies in their 60s or 70s lifting 200 pounds or more. The deadlift is comprehensive, hitting all the fitness attributes, promoting strength, power, balance, stamina, and body composition. It attacks the sick aging phenotype for all the same reasons the squat and other barbell exercises do it. It increases muscle mass and bone density, fights insulin resistance, and combats frailty. And the deadlift is simple and effective. It has to be done properly, but it's about as simple as an exercise gets. A good coach can get you to a decent, trainable deadlift in about 10 to 15 minutes. It's a simple procedure. Get the bar into the middle of the foot, grip the bar just outside the legs, drop the shins to the bar, keeping the hips high, and raise the chest to set the back into rigid extension. Then drag that bar right up your legs and stand up. Then put it down and do it again. The whole time, the barbell moves in a vertical path over the middle of the foot, what we call the master cue. If you watch the squat video, you're probably starting to notice some patterns here. Now remember, these videos aren't intended to instruct you in the movements. Please check out the videos from Barbell Logic and Starting Strength for more on learning how to deadlift and see the links down in the doobly-doo. We'll have more to say about adapting the squat to those with mobility or other limitations in future videos, although such modifications aren't required nearly as often as one might think. Just about anybody can do the deadlift, which is part of its amazing power as a truly effective exercise medicine. Thanks for watching, and thanks to our sponsors, Iron Joe, the delicious pre-workout coffee beverage, online great books, classics of Western civilization delivered to your door, and starting strength online coaching. Remember, our content is for educational and infotainment purposes only, and does not constitute advice for any particular person, patient, disease, or condition. If you have questions about your health, you should work closely with your physician.